Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve for the secant of x minus 1 equals 0. So to do this, the first thing we need to do is obviously isolate our, our trigonometric value. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides, and I get secant squared of x equals positive 1. Now, to undo the squaring, I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and I get secant of x equals plus or minus uh, 1. Now, to go and look at this value, I need to see you know, when is the secant um, going to be, for the secant of what value or of what angle is going to equal plus or minus 1. So by looking at the unit circle, all right, what we notice is that the secant of x is equal to plus or minus 1. Well, remember, secant is equal to 1 over x. And that means when dealing with our, our um, coordinates on the unit circle, or we could say this is also equal to the reciprocal of this, which would be plus or minus 1 as well, as you make the reciprocal of over 1 is still going to be plus or minus 1, which is these reciprocals. So really, you know, cosecant or <coughs> secant of plus or minus 1 is really the same values as the cosine of x, which is plus or minus 1. So we look at our um, unit circle, and we notice that we have these two points where our x value is going to be 1 and positive 1. So therefore, to, to write our final answer, we could say x is going to equal an angle of 0, or we could say an angle of pi. And then, remember, we're trying to find all of our solutions. So it's equal to pi, and then 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 0, negative direction. So we can just multiply this by our variable, which in this problem, I'll use the variable as n. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve your trigonometric equation. Thanks.